Hello, welcome to the Raymond's Report. Thanks for watching. I'm Brennan. And I'm Riley Pepper. It's Wednesday, June 1st. It's June already? Yeah, you and I are almost done, old friend. Who are you calling old? Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, I just mean seniors have three days left. Is that a threat? Appropriately, seniors, if you need your final transcript, please see the counseling department to ensure that it is sent to the correct location. Do not forget to stop by and complete this important step. And seniors, remember that Friday after finals from 12 to 1 p.m. is the senior walk at our elementary and middle schools. Remember to bring your cap and gown. Sign up for the school of your choice at student management. Transportation is provided and we will be back by 1 p.m. for Chromebook check-in. There will be a cross-country meeting uh, fundraiser tomorrow, Thursday, June 2nd, 6.30 to 7 at Straw Hat Pizza. Support Cross Country by purchasing dinner. A percentage of all purchases this evening will go to Cross Country. Looking for an entertaining show? The Spring Drama Arts Showcase is tonight at 7 p.m. in the PAT. Your books are in. They will be handed out later this week and into next week, but make sure you buy yours today before we run out. Cost is $65 and supplies are limited. See Gail to get one today. Next week, many of our seniors finish up school and head off to college. But for a lot of us, the process of getting to college is confusing, or worse, unknown. Diego wanted to help clear that up. In the past few months, there have been thousands upon thousands of college applications sent from just Ridgeview students alone. The application process can be long and tedious, unless the college will accept the Common App. You can apply to a lot of different schools at once with the Common App, instead of doing a school's individual application and a lot of schools actually require that you use the Common App. I think the purpose of the Common App is to just make the whole process easier. What you have to fill out for the Common App is it's about like six pages of personal information. How you did in school, what kind of activities you did and stuff like that and sort of your family demographics is one of them. Nothing too invasive but they are personal questions. Some schools uh, most schools will require that you get a teacher recommendation, which is not the same as a teacher letter of recommendation. It's like a specific common app thing, and I had to have my counselor help me with that because it was all very confusing. If you're applying to a lot of schools, I would recommend that you use the common app, and especially if your school requires that you use the common app, use the common app. For colleges who have their own application, don't worry, these applications are usually more individualized for that particular school and typically take a shorter amount of time to fill out. Well, one of the colleges, uh, University of Oregon that I applied to, uh, doesn't use the Common App. It has its own admissions process on its website. If you go there, you just go to the Apply tab and it opens up lots of information for a transfer student or a freshman student and how you can apply and what you need. They also have a great list of deadlines of when you need to get like an application in or like financial aid in. They love to see you getting outside of the school and doing community service or in and around your neighborhood and just helping out. Um, it's great on your application. Um, having a job is also a great thing. And once you get that basic information out of the way, then you start to apply some information about your parents and your parents college and what their financial situation might be about. There's usually an essay at the end. A general topic might be uh, why do you think um, that you should go to the U of O or um, what struggles or troubles have you uh, had in high school and what have you done to overcome them. That's a great essay. It's very broad um, but it can have some very specific answers they're looking for and they give you lots of space and ideas to write it out and once you've done that essay, it's usually about 500 words max, then all that's complete into one application and you usually pay a fee to submit your application. And that's it for today. As always, check out our YouTube page at youtube.com forward slash Ravens. I'm Riley Pepper. And I'm Brennan. Have an epic day and stay classy with you.